An organization was recently started in the Boston area to help professionals age 55 and over meet new demand for their skills. The goal is to match these professionals with public agencies and nonprofits. The organization is called Reserve Greater Boston. Joining us from Reserve are two participants, Cindy Weiner and Alan Greenfield. Uh, thank you both very much for being with us. Thank you for having us. I want to start with uh, Cindy. Uh, talk about the overview here. Uh, why have this kind of an organization? The organization was started by three social entrepreneurs who felt that there were needs on both sides of the table. People who are over 55 and retiring still wanted to stay actively engaged in life, and nonprofits and public sector organizations, schools and hospitals were having to do more with less funding. So it felt as if a match was needed to ensure bettering the communities, and it was a win-win for both. And, and the basic formula here is that the reservists, the participants, uh, they're not exactly volunteers, but they're not exactly getting normal pay either. Right. They do not receive market pay. They are paid $10 an hour, which is taxable, while the nonprofit or public sector organization, the partners, pay $15 an hour. Uh, $2.60 goes to reserve or functioning, and the other $2.40 goes to Medicare, FICA, and payroll tax. Alan Griefen, talk, talk about what you've been doing. With Reserve? With Reserve. So I am a site coordinator for a program called the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, uh, where a people of uh, lower means, let's say, can get their taxes, federal and state, prepared uh, for no charge. So I run a center, it's a room full of computers. I have 19 volunteers who are mostly college students. And uh, we serve about 25 to 30 clients per evening that were open through the tax season. Now when you say you run the center, is this mainly uh, dealing with the equipment or dealing with the people? All of the above. It's, it's got it. There are equipment issues and there are a lot of people issues between a staff of volunteers and a large room full of clients. Uh, but my, the most important job is for me to help with the tax returns themselves when, for instance, if they come back rejected for some reason, I have to analyze the reason why and make it all right in the end. What about the, your background uh, before this? Uh, how does what you're doing now reflect what you were doing before? Well, I was in high tech for my whole uh, career, 30 plus year career in high tech. And uh, the last several positions were at the vice presidential level. So I have a lot of management experience, so I can use that. Uh, and I also have a lot of technical experience with numbers and things like that. So taxes is a logical fit for me. So, Your Honor, you're, you're doing your reservist work for Reserve itself. Uh, what did you do before? Uh, I was a high school English teacher, and then I started a nonprofit called After School Partners that I've been doing for the past 13 years. And when you were running this, what were you doing mainly? You were the recruiter, I guess, maybe? Or? At Reserve? Uh, be, or? With After School Partners. Oh, I'm the executive director. I so the, started the so you, you were the person who were in charge of the recruiters then. Uh, what about what you're doing now with, with Reserve? Exactly. What I'm doing with Reserve is I'm running, leading the information sessions called First Impressions. So when somebody is interested in becoming a reservist, you go online, you register, and you sign up for a First Impressions information session. And I run the sessions. Uh, Alan, why, why do you do this? I, I mean, you, 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 know, you might not necessarily need the money that much, so, uh, although some of us will at this, at right. this age, but uh, uh, what's keeping you going? Well, I'm semi-retired, I guess. I still own a little uh, business on the side, a pet care business, but I have a lot of free time, and it's, I find it's much better to keep myself structured and busy. And the attraction of this particular reservist opportunity was pretty profound in terms of the payback, meaning that um, the folks who attend these sessions to get their taxes done are generally getting the benefit of something called an earned income tax credit. They wouldn't have been able to get this otherwise because in the past they would have had to pay for returns, which they generally didn't do. When Congress passed these laws, they found that half of these benefits were being left on the table. So these centers were founded so that people could come and get benefits from it. We're averaging about $1,000 per family of benefit, of money right into their pockets. And this is being done with 
19 volunteers who get paid nothing and myself and as you know I get paid ten dollars an hour for so for the whole tax season I'll get paid about three thousand dollars so for a three thousand dollar total expenditure the agency gets to put approximately three hundred and fifty thousand dollars because we're going to do three hundred and fifty tax returns this year directly into the pockets of those that need it the most Right. Uh, Cindy, well, I guess the other uh, side of this is that people do the work that Alan's doing and that you're doing, and uh, you're doing it in a way that's less expensive, but I guess it might be hard to get done otherwise. Absolutely. Uh, the partners we have are having to do more with less funding, and what we hope to do is fill the gap for the nonprofits and the public sector organizations where if they could envision, if they could dream of something that they needed, but they can't afford market price, we come in and help out. And I guess the other end of this, of course, is as much as you want new people to be reservists in the future, you also want new organizations to, to come forward too, right? Absolutely. It's a balance. And we have over 200 reservists who have come to information sessions so far since October in Boston. And we have about 15 partner organizations. So we want to catch up. Uh, how did you get uh, uh, involved uh, first, Alan? Did they come out looking for you or you, you discovered them? A little bit of both. I read an article in the New York Times a year ago, December, that said it was happening. And I happened to have a discussion with a person who happens to be a friend in my community. I was mentioning it to her and she said, what a coincidence, this reserve is actually going to be part of JVS, Jewish Vocational Service, in Boston. And so I had that connection early on, and I stayed connected with her, and then I became, along with Cindy, one of the first two reservists. Right. Uh, Cindy, uh, talk about what people should be doing if they do want to get involved in this explorer. You said you run these sessions, uh, even though uh, they might be booked a ways down the line here. Talk about they that. should go to the website, reserveinc.org, click on locations, go to Boston, and they will find a registration form, and they will be led to the open sessions. Right. Thank you both very much. Cindy Weiner and Alan Greenfield from Thank Reserve. You. Thank you. We'll have more news in just a moment.